Hey there, welcome to this video tutorial. I'm Nick from Income Digs. We are getting into Podio today and a really useful, probably my favorite extension or add-on to Podio, Momentum Dynamic Forms, all right? And this is as close to a game changer as is possible with Podio. I'm talking about a complete, complete game changer. So not only can we create really nice looking forms, which is you know the core concept of this add-on, but what we can do as well is edit existing items in a form like setting. And that's probably my favorite part about it. Okay, so I'm actually going to, I'm not going to do a tutorial all about building the forms. We have that, we will have that um, later. But I'm gonna show you how we can set up a form and then within Podio link to it so that we can edit existing Podio items in that form. Okay, really, really useful. And again, just a complete game changer. So join me here in Momentum Forms. Okay, so here we are. Now, um, Momentum has a few really amazing tools. They have the Backup and Restore, really useful. Power Tools is pretty cool as well, and then Dynamic Forms. Again, I think Dynamic Forms is the most powerful. I'm gonna have videos on the others as well. They are all pretty amazing. Okay, so Dynamic Forms, you create uh, forms for your Podio items, okay? So for example, I have a Podio app for rehab estimates here. I actually have two of them. Let me find the one that I really wanna use. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is the one I really wanna use, I think. Okay, so um, so look at this app. It's like a rehab estimate. So the idea is like we'd be in the field and we'd be um, looking to potentially buy a property and we wanna quickly run through. And we could open it up on Podio and try to fill this out. But if we're on our iPad, we're probably scrolling and scrolling and it's going crazy. There's no tab navigation. It's really cumbersome. You know, it's really annoying to do, right? So this would be a great, um, a great place to maybe use a form, all right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use this as a sample to get a form going. Okay, so here I'm, I'm back in Momentum Forms. I'm just on my free trial subscription for now. I'm just gonna go create new form. I'm actually gonna use the wizard because it's got multiple pages and that's pretty cool. So let me find the workspace that I'm in here. I'm gonna go with acquisitions and then the app is going to be rehab estimates. I think it's that first one. So much sample data. Okay, so here I'm in the form builder and you're gonna see that the form builder is really easy to use. Again, I'm not doing a tutorial right now on the form builder. I'm gonna do it real quick. We'll have a separate tutorial on that, but the real point of this video is to show you how we can edit existing items. Okay, so what I'm gonna bring in here is uh, I'm just gonna start bringing in a bunch of my fields, okay? And you bring them in and it's gonna give you a, actually before I do that, let's do a little tutorial. Let's do it, let's get a layout component in here. Let's bring in uh, columns, or yep, yeah, columns. Okay, I'm gonna do three columns. All right, and I'm gonna make them four, four, four. All right, now I'm gonna take this, you know, columns again allows you to we're trying to prevent all that scrolling, okay? So what I'm just doing is clicking and dragging that field into a column, okay? And now what I found too is if you make your, if you have apps like this where they're similar types of questions, make the choices the same number of them, make them really consistent, and you can really build out a really like useful and cool looking app, okay? So I'm bringing these fields in here and I'm making my form. You notice that I'm not really touching any of these options, not yet, that's uh, for a different video. I'm just kind of bringing them in and clicking save. Okay, so here's kind of like my inspection. Um, I could also bring in um, a component. I think I can bring in some text, right? Um, you know, Something like that, let's make it a heading. So obviously you can tell this is way, way better than just your, your average Podio thing, right? I'm gonna call this tab exterior, then I'm gonna create a new page, and on my second page, I'm again going to bring in columns, okay? I'm just gonna do two columns for this one, and then I'm gonna bring in some more fields Okay, let's bring in, let's just bring in carpet. I'll like call this interior. Oh, 
okay. Um, that's good enough for now. We'll get the point, okay? So I'm gonna call this, this page I'm gonna call interior. All right, now you can see here that there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with these forms. We can make things conditional, like only appear if certain things are true. Just things that we cannot do possibly in uh, the other situation, okay? So let's just call it there for now. Let's just save it and, and, and just stop there for a second, okay? So if I want to um, look at this form now, I can look at the share button and I can open this in a new tab and there's my form. And, and by default, the way that this will work is every time I submit a new one, uh, you know, it's going to create a brand new item in my app, okay? So you can see how quickly I created that form. Of course, you know, there's a lot more that I'm gonna do with it. But here is what is super valuable and useful, okay? So um, if I go back here, what we can do is actually edit existing items, all right? So I'm gonna use this form to edit existing items. So I'm gonna leave this up for now. I'm gonna prep Podio, prep Globiflow, and then we're gonna do it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring in a link here that says link to web form. So if you're on mobile, you can click that. And then in theory, you could then hide the rest of these fields, okay? But let's get there. So the first thing we gotta do is add the item ID to every Podio item. You saw me do this in a previous video when I was doing a Podio web form. We're gonna do it here as well. Okay, so this is gonna be just a text field, okay? A single line text field, and we can leave it hidden Basically, this is a place for us to store the item ID so that we can bring it into our calculation to bring up the form. I'm gonna make this uh, always hidden, okay? And then once you add it, you should add a workflow in Globiflow. Really simple, that one that upon creation of a new item, Globiflow will auto-populate that item ID. It's not something we're able to get with the calculation field, so we're going to need to, um, we're going to, need to dump it into that text field every time. Okay, so on my rehab estimates, I'm gonna create a manual flow right now for this. Again, you saw me do this in one of my previous videos. Um, it's a relatively simple item ID. Okay, and then we'll do Oh, let's see, Podio item ID, estimate Podio item ID. And the only reason I made it a manual flow is I'm just gonna run it on that one that I have existing. Okay, so see how the item ID populated? Then you'd probably wanna take this, take this flow and edit it and make it a upon creation. Okay. So now we're set for like the future. So that um, item ID is sitting there. So what I wanna do first, before I do this, I wanna demonstrate what's gonna happen. So let me look at this form again, and I have a bunch of those things in there, demo, trash out windows, all that. So let's, let's start populating some of this just to see, so we can get an idea what it's gonna look like. I don't know what else is in there. I think I have some stuff, carpet and hardwood are in there, okay? All right, so now I'm going to bring in a calculation field that's going to hyperlink to my form, okay? So let's bring in uh, a calculation field and we can call this link to form, okay? And so we're gonna define a few variables. The first variable we're gonna define is the URL, okay? And that's just gonna be like the general URL to uh, momentum forms, okay? And that, if we look at the share, it's really um, everything up and through the equal sign, okay? So I can grab all of this and then I'll just delete the rest. All right, now I'm gonna delete this right here. Now, you could keep that static, but what I like to do is I like to have this, I like to have my variables be as separated as possible. Um, I'm just naming the link web form. And then I'm gonna do um, the item ID is going to equal my item ID. Um, I like to have them as separate as possible. Hmm, I wonder if I already have an item ID somewhere else. I might, but uh, let's see, <laughs> we will 
we will figure that out. I probably do. Um, this one is capitalized, and, and that one's probably the one that's populated, hopefully. Um, actually, let me see. If I just type in I, I, ID here. Yep, okay. So look at what I'm doing here, by the way. It's like I wasn't sure what field that was. I'm bringing in that variable down here to see what the preview tells me to see if it's populated. All right, and now I'm gonna do my form ID. And again, the reason I keep these separated is so I can copy and paste this to a different app, and all I gotta do is switch out the form ID. All right, so now that form ID, if I paste this in again, it's really just this here, this V4, okay. All right, that's the form ID. Okay, now I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them together. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, my link Take my URL, I'm gonna do form ID. I'm gonna add in my item ID. And then finally, I'm gonna add the ID to that. Okay, so. Um, Let's see how that works, okay? I'm just checking my, my math here. And you know what? I'm gonna check that this works, then I'm gonna simplify this for you. I think there's a better way to do it, but let's just see if this one works. Again, what we're looking for here is we're gonna tell Momentum Forms, okay, open up this form, but open up this form with an existing Podio item, and we're gonna see if, if that works. Okay, so there's my web form, and if I click this, what I wanna see is it opens me up into the web form, and look at that. Things are already filled out. So why is this so useful? We can pretty much replace the user interface of Podio with this, okay? So this is way too much scrolling. I can't handle it, right? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I could hide all those fields and just have them live here and I can come back to that web form as much as I want with this right here. The other thing I could do is I can bring this web form into my related deal, okay? So here I have all this cool stuff for my deal. If I modify my template here, and just do a calculation, uh, rehab estimate web form. I can do at link to web form, oops, dot join. Okay, now I not only can I reference that from my rehab estimate, but I can grab it here as well. And again, the idea that we can edit existing items is such a huge game changer. So the, so the applications are, are endless, but what I really use this for a lot is things where I'm in the field and I'm probably gonna be on my iPad. This is a way better user interface than Podio is for that, okay? The other thing you could use this for is for um, people who don't have access to Podio, okay? People that don't have access to Podio, you could provide them a link to a web form to edit an item, only show them specific fields, and they will never even need to get into Podio. It's great, so think about that like a, um, a profile, maybe a vendors, a vendors app. You can create a web form for the vendor and say, hey, vendor, here's your profile as my system is concerned. You know, you can put in your direct deposit information, your tax ID number, etc. Okay, uh, edit it whenever you need to. You're the only one who has a link to this, right? And, um, and then you'll always have that accurate information. They'll never have to get into Podio itself, okay? We're talking about just a huge, huge game changer. Okay, so I promised you that I would look at uh, changing the, um, the form to make it a little simpler, because you might have noticed it's a, it's a different link um, than I've done in the past. So let me do that. Let me just try to simplify this link. I don't think we need all that nonsense. So the link is web form. I think if I do this, all right, um, just bear with me. If I do web form like that, so let's take my link Okay, uh, plus I'm gonna open my parentheses, end my parentheses, then I'm gonna add in my uh, URL, then I'm gonna add in my form ID, and then I'm gonna add in my ID, and I'm gonna finish with parentheses. Yeah, and I think that's gonna do the exact same thing. or at least close, there might be a backslash that I'm missing here. Um, oh, you know what, it's the words at and item ID. 
before ID. All right, at item ID equals. So this part here, I guess I could have made this into a, um, into a variable, but this is just a little bit of a cleaner one, I believe. Okay, so let's click done on that. We'll see what we get. And if you want, you know, explore the dynamic forms in the editing, right? Um, it's, you're gonna find that it's really pretty easy to do. Um, there we go, cool. Uh, but we'll have another video, a follow-up on that as far as how the editing works, okay? Um, it's really, really powerful. And then also, in addition to that, we'll go through backup and restore as well as power tools. If you wanna sign up for Momentum, I have a link right here in the, um, in the details of the video. So check it out, let me know if you have questions. We'll have plenty more on this. And then we're gonna go into really deep detail on all of this in Podio Crash Course. So if you're interested in signing up for that, uh, you can join the wait list. We're getting that course ready to go in the coming weeks here. All right, as always, check out all the free material available at IncomeDigs.com and I will see you on the next video.